Hi, I'm Denise Shreve, founder of Our Native Bees. I know there are lots of mason bee houses out there on the market, but I thought it would be helpful to discuss some of the features that I believe are very important when choosing a native bee house. So these are two of the houses that we sell, manufacture and sell, just myself and a local carpenter. You can see one has a uh, copper roof and the other one has a galvanized steel roof. So right off the bat, you know that those roofs are going to last a long time. The One of the most important things to look for, I believe, is the depth of the nest box. You can see these are, the inside tubes are about six inches. The actual size is about eight. Um, so that is a very, very important factor. I see a lot of houses that are just made from four by fours and for your spring mason bees, that will not work because you might very well end up with just all male cocoons because the female will not fertilize those eggs to become females unless she feels she's got a nice deep hole that will keep them nice and safe. So a minimum five to six inch nesting tube is, is really, really important. The other thing that I think is very important is the uh, fact that you have a nice wide overhang. Our houses have at least two inches of overhang. And also you can see the fronts are recessed a little bit, as are the nesting straws inside. And all that helps to protect them from rain and wind, neither of which the bees like. Another part of the bee house design that I think is really important is to allow space for the nesting female bees in between the holes. They do like to nest together. They're called gregarious bees, but they're really solitary bees as each female does all the work herself. And it's hard for them to distinguish between holes when it's just a bunch of straws all packed together. So the fact that there's a landing space so that the female bee can turn around is a really important thing. Another thing that's extremely important is the size of the hole. This 5 16 inch diameter is key because that will help the bees grow as large as they can. The orchard mason bees and the summer leaf cutter bees need a fairly good size hole. So the size of the hole is very important. Sometimes people will have um, to sell reeds and they're multi sizes and the problem with those is that the bees end up having to transform that larger reed into the size that they prefer and by doing that they carry a lot of mud and they make it smaller but they are wasting an awful lot of energy uh, by doing that so much better off to have the proper size to begin with. The other thing that's a really important thing to look for is the quality and, and uh, type of wood that they are made out of and I do emphasize it should be wood. Some people sell PVC or plastic and at least uh, east of the Rocky Mountains with the hot humid weather we have that is going to be a great habitat for molds and different fungus and parasites but not for mason bees so it's important to have a house that's made out of wood and preferably a high quality sustainable hardwood pine and other soft wood, woods rarely last a year without warping and cracking so it is important to have that. Um, ours are made out of white oak and uh, I'll show you the other two models we have that are also made out of sustainable eucalyptus which is an awesome wood and um, mahogany which is a nice both of them are very uh, water resistant and plus really really attractive and long lasting. Here are our two native bee houses that are made of eucalyptus and mahogany, both very rot resistant, water resistant woods, very sustainable, and I think absolutely gorgeous. I love the contrasting colors of the different woods. One of the design features that I think is extremely important, again, especially for people living east of the Rocky Mountains, is to have air circulation inside your bee house. That really cuts down on the fungus and um, just 
even the temperature is very important for the development of the bee larvae. It gets too hot, they will not survive. So this is a real important factor for those of you who live in humid, hot, humid conditions. And the most important thing of all is to buy a bee house that has both inner nesting straws and outer. You can see how easily these pull out. This is so important for the health of your bees. These cardboard outer tubes are reusable for many years, but they are very, very important to protect your bee cocoons from predators and parasites, especially chalcid wasps and cuckoo bees and beetles and anything else that tries to get to that larvae. That's why it's so important to have the outer cardboard. The inner nesting straw is equally important. In the fall, you push those inner nesting straws out of the cardboard and all the mud and pollen and bee cocoons is contained in that straw and your cardboard outer tubes are reusable and in perfect shape for many years. They can even be just stored right down in your bee house till the next spring. But the inner straws are of major, major importance to uh, raising healthy bees. I also include in each of my bee houses um, a little dowel that looks like this and it's basically you just use it to push on the front of the bee tube and it just pushes on the edge of the straw so it does not harm the cocoons inside. Easily pushes them out so you can either open them or just store them over the winter until the following spring. So this is a something that comes in every one of my houses and of course I also enclose a really detailed sheet uh, telling you what you need to be doing with your bees and of course on my website I have a lot of info. So those are some really important things to look for when determining which Mason Bee House you are going to purchase. I do hope you purchase one from someone because it really is important for all of us to help the grow the populations of our native bees and they're so easy and enjoyable. Remember, they don't sting. So just a totally educational and enjoyable experience and very, very safe for kids, pets, everybody. So I hope you will find a bee house that meets all your needs. And thanks for watching.